yeah, I honestly cannot believe that we're actually hanging out. This is so exciting. Okay, so I'm just gonna get myself situated. Do you need anything? Do you want like one of these pillows to sit on or literally anything? Yeah, here. Uh, do you want like one of my normal pillows or one of these tassely ones? Um, here. Why don't we just give you this one? and fluffed for you. Okay. Should be good. Here. Uh, there you go. Oh, nice. And fluffed for you. Okay. Mm-mm. So. I took it upon myself to get an activity sorted for us because I could just tell that if I didn't like organize something structured we would just sit here and awkwardly smile and stare at each other for like four hours which is, you know, that would have been one way to use our evening but I just felt like this would be even better so, I have prepared some questions. Um, originally, I was gonna do like the traditional 20 questions. You know what I mean? Like that little game that people would play in like middle school or, you know, just to get to know each other. But, um, yeah, I ended up with a lot more than 20. I think I have. Okay, well, not like a lot more, but I have a 27 questions. Wait, 28 actually. Um, do you have any questions before we get into these? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they aren't like super personal, but... I mean, I did want us to, you know, kind of cover some ground while we're doing this, so I did make them decently deep. There's a little bit of uh, volume to them, but it'll be fine. It'll be more than fine. It'll be great. You're going to have a really, really good time. And hopefully I'll make you laugh. Maybe you'll make me laugh. That would be awesome. It's been a while since someone has been able to really make me laugh. So that would be really great if you could do that for me. But, you know, it's okay if you can't. Just don't worry about it. Um, should we just get started? I feel like... I'm just gonna sit here and like twiddle my thumbs trying to convince you that this is gonna be a good idea when we should just be like diving right in. Don't you think? Yeah, I completely agree. Okay, okay. Um, well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna ask the questions like completely in order, but like, we'll just, we'll just see. I was thinking we could start off with some of the easier ones and then get into the more like saucy, spicy questions. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, so, question numero uno What has been your favorite year of life thus far? So, like, it can be calendar year, like 2009, 
Or you could say like, oh, the eighth year of my life. So when you're eight years old, you know what I mean? What has been your favorite year of life thus far? Ready? Go. Mm. Interesting. Okay. I think one of my favorite years of my life so far was way back when I was seven years old. I had a phenomenal year that year. A lot of great things happened to me. I just feel like it was like one of the peak years of my life. Uh, I excelled at pretty much everything I was doing. Also, seven is one of my favorite numbers. So, that helps. <laughs> um, okay, that was a good start. I like your answer. Question number two. Question number two. Um, if you could gain fluency in any language overnight, which one would you choose? So, say you woke up tomorrow and suddenly you were fluent in Japanese. Maybe you already are. Are you? Okay. I did not know that about you. But say you wake up and you're fluent in a language that you don't know right now fluently. Which one would you choose and also why is that your choice? Why is that the language you would most want to learn? I feel like for me, I would love to learn Latin just because it's so similar to a lot of the languages that are alive today. Other languages I would love to learn overnight because how easy and awesome would that be? French, Italian, Spanish. I would love to learn Japanese, but I think the other ones are at a higher priority for me because Japanese seems really, 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 really difficult. And, you know, I am not quite in the business of torturing myself anymore. So, yeah. I think I'll stick with the other options, which are still very difficult for me. So, uh, good answer. Good answer. I like your reasoning, too. Okay. This is honestly one of my more favorite questions on here. Number three. One, two, three. What is your favorite memory alone in nature? What is your favorite memory when you were alone in nature? I can definitely go first for this one. So, one of my favorite memories being alone in nature was when I was living in Hawaii and I had just gone through a really bad breakup. I honestly feel like we've talked about it like briefly, the breakup, not the story I'm telling you. Um, yeah, it was that one guy. So it was right after we broke up and I remember just going into the jungle and feeling like I needed to be like held by the forest. I was just feeling really low and sad and I remember I laid down on like a bed of moss almost and I fell asleep and when I woke up the sun was shining on me and it was just like a completely different feeling from when I had walked in 
And I really felt like the forest like recalibrated me, got me back in my normal vibration, my normal tuning. I felt like I was retuned, fine-tuned by the jungle. And I felt a lot better after that about my breakup and just about life and where I was headed and that little tiny moment meant a lot to me, actually. So what about you? What is your favorite moment alone in nature? Ooh. I love that. No, I don't think that's weird at all. I think it's really wholesome and cute and sweet. I love that for you. <clears throat> Do you have any more parts of your answer to share? Or should we go on? Next question. Yeah? Okay, awesome. So, question number four. What three emojis describe you the best? What three emojis one two three what three emojis describe you the best i honestly have to look oh my god i totally forgot that my mom texted me hold on Um, okay, let's see. I feel like the three emojis that I feel best describe me would be the three little, like, twinkly stars, like the one, two, three in a little triangle. That one. Um, the little, like, branch with all the leaves. It's, like, curved up. And there's six, seven, of course, my favorite number, seven leaves on it. So the three little sparkles, the branch with the leaves. And then I honestly feel like that one emoji where the tongue is like sideways and the eyes are crossed, like, like that. Those are my three, I think. What about you? What are yours? Yes, I could totally see that for you. I feel like you actually do use that one quite a lot. That makes perfect sense for you then. I love it. Okay, cool. Next question. Nice, okay. Question number five. When in your life did you feel the most nervous? When in your life have you felt the most nervous, nervous, nervous? Mm. Yeah, that would make me nervous too. I think that would make almost anyone, like, almost shart themselves, for lack of a better way of saying it. That sounds terrifying. Kudos to you for getting through that. Wow. That's crazy. I cannot believe you did that. Yeah. Um, mine is probably being backstage at a dance competition. Maybe not when I was older, but as a kid. I think that's one of the moments I felt the most nerves or auditioning for things. I don't know, just being like 
criticized and judged by a bunch of different people and having it actually matter. That's tough. <sighs> I don't even want to get into the psychology of that at the moment. I totally could, but maybe not right now. Oh, you'll love this next one. Okay. Question number six. Number six. On a scale from one to ten, how weird do you think I am? So on a scale from one to ten, where do you rate me on weirdness? Also, I'm sorry, my stomach is growling. It's probably in anticipation of some of the future questions about food. I mean, what? I didn't just spoil it. So, 1 to 10. How weird do you think I am? What? That's way too low. I humbly think that I'm a 10 out of 10 on the weird scale. Maybe you just don't know me that well. You'll see. You'll see with time. Don't worry. Okay. Question number seven. How did you meet your current best friend? How did you meet your current bestie? Bestie. How did you guys meet? Oh, really? No, I would have never guessed that. Okay. Wait. So how did you guys both end up there, though? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. So the turtle was the connection? That was the link. That's how you guys, you know, got together. Okay. No, I, it's just like a little bit weird, but like not anything crazy, you know. Um, let's go to the next question. Um, number eight. Number eight. Um, do you prefer planning ahead or spontaneity? Planning ahead or spontaneity? What do you prefer? For me, personally, I feel like it depends. Like, if someone were to spontaneously invite me on a week-long trip, Canada. Yeah, that might be a little hard for me, but a spontaneous picnic in the park sounds lovely. Do you know what I mean? Like, if the event would be better off planned, it probably should be planned in advance, but if you can get by with doing it spontaneously and still have a great time, yeah. Why not? You know? You know what I mean? Um, okay. Oh, I love this next one so much. Okay. Question number nine. Who would get you fangirling if you saw them in public? can be any kind of celebrity, musician, actor, whatever other kinds of celebrities there are, artists, painters, fashion designer. Who would get you squealing like if you saw them in public? Who would get you freaking out? (laughs) 
really? Wow. That is so lame. Who would I pick? I honestly don't have one and like will never have anyone that I care that much about. At least not like a public figure. I have people I would fangirl to see just like average Joes, but no celebrities. They're just normal people to me. Weirdo. You get a 10 out of 10 on the weird scale too, that is for sure. That is for sure. Hmm. Okay. So, these questions are going to start to get a little bit deeper now. We're getting into question 10, double digits. So, I felt like that was a good time to start ramping it up. Um, question number 10. Without further ado, do you believe in soulmates? Do you believe in soulmates? And why do you feel the way you do? Mm hmm Really? That's an interesting definition of soulmate. I've never heard that before. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> so does that mean we could technically be soulmates too? <laughs> cool. Very cool. I like that. <laughs> um, this one... This one, I'm not gonna lie is a little bit vulnerable of a question, so if you don't want to answer it, honestly, no worries. Like, no judgment if you don't want to answer. I know this is quite personal, but let's just, you know, for fun, for funsies, let's just... Would you... Oh, this is question 11, by the way. Would you rather... Be good looking Shrek, baddie Shrek, with no Fiona, or ogre Shrek, but with ogre Fiona. So basically, would you rather be single and hot, or ugly and wifed up forever? Okay, wait. Not to say that Ogre Shrek is ugly, I mean, he's alright. <laughs> no, I did not mean that, seriously. Of course not. What? That would be so weird. Um, so what's your answer? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Way to really turn the tables on that one, flip the script. I was not anticipating Lord Farquaad coming into the equation there. Made for some really interesting math. Mm-hmm. Way to pull the rug out from under that question. Very impressive. Very impressive. Okay. Number 12. Question number 12. What is a trend that you wish would die? What is a trend that you wish would die? You're sick of it. You want it to end. Mm. <laughs> totally. Yeah, mine is honestly going to be kind of like a hot take. It's going to be a little bit of a tea opinion. But you know that new trend that people are doing with like the money pieces right here? Like different colors? I hate that. 
it's not for me. I really hope it stops, like, soon. I've never thought that it was cute. No. Not even one time on any human being I've ever seen wear the look. I just don't like it. Green? Yellow? Ugh. No. Stop doing the money pieces. It's not good. See, I told you it was going to be a hot take. People are going to get mad if they hear me say that in public. But it's my opinion. It's a trend I wish would die. I don't like it. Um, this is a perfect segue, actually, to question number 13. Um, do you feel as though the approval of others is something you find important? Do you think the approval of other people is something you really find important? Or does it not really matter to you if people approve of you? So, obviously, since we're talking about things other people do that we don't approve of, we don't like, how does it make you feel when people feel that way about you? Like, is that something you can handle really easily? Is it something that bothers you? Mm hmm Sure, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I can relate to that. I feel like if I'm doing something just for the sake of like my own self-expression, I don't really care if people like it or not because that's not the point. But if I'm doing something that I know is going to be graded or judged or critiqued and like I want people to approve of it and impress them, then it matters like a lot to me like I talked about earlier with the scenarios that made me feel nervous, you know, like auditioning, competing, that is where the approval of other people's really matter to me, so I definitely relate to what you were saying too, which was kind of similar, just a little bit. Um, can we go on? Next question. Perfect, okay. Number 14. When is the last time that you felt inspired to create? When is the last time that you felt inspired to create something, literally anything? And what did you make? What did you create? Do you have any pictures? Yeah, I would love to see you. Oh, thank you. Here. I'll try not to, you know, look at any of the stuff I shouldn't be seeing. Cute. I love this one. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Love it. Thank you so much for showing me. Yeah, those are great. I'm glad that you did that. Are you going to make more? You should. Yeah, that's really, really cool. I think people would buy them, but you know, don't monetize your hobby if you don't want to. It's the worst idea ever. If you have fun doing it, just do it for fun. It's way better. Okay, question 15. Lost count there for a sec. Question 15. We're going right through them. Can you be trusted with secrets? Can you be trusted with secrets? I'm honestly very curious about this one because I have a secret to tell you, but I need to make sure I can trust you. Good. 
So you are trustworthy. Okay. I believe you. I do. I do. Let's see. Um. <laughs> so, transitioning us beautifully into the next question, number 16. What are some of your red flags. One of my red flags is absolutely someone who cannot keep a secret. Even if the information that I'm disclosing isn't necessarily supposed to be kept private, I just feel like that's a very respectful thing to do as an acquaintance and more so as a friend. You know, if they didn't explicitly say, yeah, you can tell everyone about this, probably shouldn't tell anyone, you know? Huge red flag if someone doesn't know how to keep things to themselves. I don't really trust them at that point with, like, any information, which sucks because friends are supposed to be able to be there for you, right? What are some of your red flags? Oh, yeah, that's so true. Oh my god, I hate that. The worst. What else? Mmm, yep. I've totally been there. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. All of these hit way too close to home. It seems like we've been through some similar trauma, similar stuff that was not so pleasant. I'm sorry to hear that. But also, like, kudos to us for getting stronger, receiving maturity and wisdom from the situations at hand. (sighs) Mm. Thank you for answering that, by the way. All right, should we move on to the next question? Let's see, where are we? Mm. 17. What is the most romantic thing that anyone has ever done for you? What is the most romantic thing someone has ever done? Oh, that's so sweet. Wait, what happened between the two of you? No, not the turtle again. So it broke you guys up, but you and your bestie. Okay, well, you know, sometimes they say two birds with one stone. And in this case, it was win and lose with one turtle. I don't know how that applies to the original phrase, but you could totally coin your own metaphor from that. Look on the bright side. You could make up your own metaphor. That's pretty cool. Imagine the guy who hit two birds with one stone. He was like, you guys two birds with one stone and everyone was like that not only applies to the legitimate situation of two birds getting hit with one stone but so many other things could also be said to have been hit with one stone and knocked two birds down wow mind shattering yeah you could do that You win some, you lose some with the same turtle. Wow. Um, Next question. Question number 18. 18. What was your first impression of me when we met? Take your time. Take your time. 
What was your first impression of me when we met? Mm. Really? I don't think I come across like that. There's no way that that's true. Yeah, I... Okay, well, I know I'm not technically supposed to disagree with your answers, but I disagree with you. Yeah, no, I do. I disagree. Respectfully, of course, but... Mm, I disagree with that synopsis of me. Whatever. My first impression of you was that you were loud and you always had to have the final word in a conversation that you weren't even a part of to begin with. You were always interrupting people and interjecting your opinion when no one asked for it. But then I got to know you and I just realized you were really insecure. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But you do interrupt people a lot. Try listening more than you speak next time. <laughs> okay. Um, question number 19. 19. What are you passionate about? Mmm. Cool. Oh, I like that. Um, would you excuse me just for one moment, please? Yeah, there's just something that I need to grab really quick. Just stay where you are. I'll, I'll just be right back. Thanks for waiting. Um, I just wanted to grab this. I felt like my lips were a little dry. Okay. Um, should we move on? Next question. Um, question number 20. 20. I can't believe we're already at 20. It's crazy. Um, what is your favorite food? Let me make this even more specific though what is your favorite food to eat when you're hungover as hell like worst headache nausea of your life what is your go-to honestly i need recommendations so i'm all ears Ooh, you know that doesn't sound half bad. Doesn't sound super great, but if it works, it works, am I right? Especially for hangover. If it works, it works. For real. Cool. Um, 
Mine is just like a trusty bagel with butter or um, maybe some cereal or something. I'm not really sure. Something like bland, really bland. That's what I usually like to consume after I have been drinking and I'm very, very hungover. <sighs> Next question. Question number... 21. Number 21. If you were gonna go on a trip, would you rather be at the beach or in the mountains? This is like one of those classic if, if, or, and, or, I don't know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Would you rather vacation at the beach or in the mountains? Yeah, I pick the mountains personally. Mm -hmm. Good choices. Love it, love it. All right, question number 22. 22. Um, if you had 24 hours to spend in only one location on this earth, where would you spend your 24 hours? Really? I would probably spend my 24 hours in Alaska so I could have sunlight for all 24 of them. I would go when there's no night and then I could experience the full 24 hours in the daylight. Although I do really love the night stars. Maybe I need to rethink my answer. That's why I love questions like this because there's so many good answers. I like yours a lot. Okay. Number 23. Um, what is a song that, like, really touches your heart? Like, it really gets you in your feelings, in your emotional state. What is a song that gets you emotional? Oh... That's so sweet. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever heard that one, actually. Now that you mention it, I don't think I have. Will you play it for me sometime? Yeah, I would love that. That sounds so nice. Yeah, and a little romantic, for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're too funny. Number 24. What are you grateful for at this current time in life? What are you grateful for at this current time in life? I would say the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel the same way. Alright. Um, number 25. Um, what is your favorite local restaurant? Local as in like within maybe 20 miles from where we are right now mm -hmm. Ooh, I've never been there Will you take me sometime? <laughs> Good 
All right, we have two more questions. No, three more. Number 26. What is something that you find attractive that other people might think is kind of surprising or shocking? What is something that you personally find attractive that other people may be surprised or shocked by? Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty common. I feel the same way. I don't really know if I have anything that's like shocking, but Something that I'm really attracted to is like good music taste, good sense of style, humor, someone who can make me laugh. <laughs> if I'm laughing a lot, I'm a lot more likely to be flirty. So if someone has a good sense of humor, it's a little too easy for me to let my guard down. All right, 27, 27. Are you ready? This is the second to last question, so. 27. Are you a good kisser? Hmm? Are you a good kisser? You should know this. <laughs> okay. Well, technically, question number 28 is how do you feel knowing that I want to kiss you right now. How does that make you feel? Yeah? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Since you answered all of the questions, which Thank you for being down to do that. I will happily consent to a few kisses if you would like. Mm hmm I can come over there. Yeah. I honestly think I can add this to the list of things that makes me feel nervous. <laughs> also, it's getting kind of dark. Um, did you want to sleep over? Yeah, I have extra toothbrushes. I have a towel if you want to shower in the morning. Um, do you like eggs? Yeah, okay. I have some eggs I could make us for breakfast. Um, there's cereal. I have some bacon, some sausage. 
honestly whatever you like some rice Okay, well, please do. You're more than welcome to stay. That's why you're invited. Um, I need to go just, you know, like, cool down for a sec. It's gotten a little hot in here. Um... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm really glad that we got to know each other a little bit better over those questions. Yeah, I would love to ask more eventually when I can think of some. But for now, I'm drawing a blank on absolutely everything except for how you are. It's all I can think about. Okay, I'm gonna go for a sec and just, you know, make sure I'm staying dry, you know? Um, I'll see you in a sec. Do you need anything? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm right here. You can come and get me. Come and get me. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in a little.